Hey guys, Clark here with Iron Lung Reviews coming at you today with the Fission RDA from Vaporfection. Very, very nice little device. Um, took about a week to get. I actually ordered this one off of eBay. Uh, saw it, looked really nice. Didn't didn't realize that they have a website, um, but you can buy it from their website at vaporfection.com and it's spelled V-A-P-E-R-F-E-X-I-O-N and I do hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so let's get into it here. First thing, 22 millimeters. Weighs about two and a half ounces. Made of T16, T, excuse me, T316 stainless steel. Um, Take it off here. You got brass pins on the inside, positive and negative. Um, they're a real small company from what I understand, um, and I'm getting all this information from their website, of course. Um, they're out of Clay, New York, and according to the website, it does say that they make about 50 of these at a time. I think I have got serial number. Let's look here. Yep, serial number 23. Got the little Vaporfection icon next to it. Very nice, 510 connection, very, very smooth. It does have an adjustable bottom or center pin that you can screw in and out uh, for those hard to connect to mods you've got. Fires very good. Um, a lot of pros, a couple of cons. Um, let's go over to cons first. On this one in particular, and I, and I, you know, this is the only one I've seen. I can't say that they're all going to come out of there like that. I sure hope not because this is a really, really great little device. Um, I'd like to see everybody with one of these in their hands. Um, but the center pin, which you do get an extra one of in the little baggie here. You get an extra center pin. You get three screws for the positive and negative. You get these two little O-rings here. Those are the insulators for the positive pin. And you get a bunch of extra O-rings. Um, I have actually had to use one of the screws already. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but the bottom of this thing where the Delrin goes through the actual build deck was kind of off center and then crooked at the same time so I really had to tighten this center pin down to get this thing to straighten up because as it goes in it kind of wanted to wobble as it went down so at certain angles this thing would be kind of off center I've got it pretty straight now uh, when I first put this thing together that ground right here was actually just about touching that center pin you couldn't have fit a business card between it and it really bothered me so um, I had to fool around with it to get it right um, you know that was an easy fix uh, the other thing is you know and I don't know if they're all gonna be like this like I said the screws for the grounds they're pretty thick heads on them I think if they were just a little bit smaller this next problem could be eliminated almost immediately um, I have actually fixed this as well. Uh, I did have another video which I uh, was going to post, but I kind of wanted to uh, see if I could fix it before I posted the video. Um, the ground screws here where they meet the post, I actually had to file some of that brass down to get the screw to go down further. And the reason why is this deck in here right there on that little edge right there actually contacts of course you can't see it here but when it's together you can see the coil there um, what happens is the ground screw contacts the build deck on this thing or excuse me the top cap on this thing and what it does is like I said, it was terrible when I got it. It's not there anymore. 
but what would happen is is you would have a gap at the top or a gap at the bottom and basically if you held this thing like that you could take this uh, side cap here and you could actually move it up and down and it had a really bad wobble to it so by grinding those negative pins down I was able to lower those ground screws and prevent that from happening uh, so it works great now um, I think the average person might not want to do that I do know on their website if you do get one and it comes out that way it does say a 14 day return policy but that's between you and um, them when you buy it from them but I, you know I have no intention on sending this thing back um, I like fixing things I wish I didn't have to fix it but unfortunately I did and, and probably what happened was is during the manufacturing of this thing once it was made if if the wire is not in here then you have no problems when I took it out of the box or excuse me the little pouch it comes in it was fine the minute you put the screw or just try to screw the screw down onto the wire whether the wire is through the hole I actually have this wire wrapped um, underneath the screw because the screw actually will go down a little further rather than sticking it through the hole um, I even tried opening the ground post holes and kind of wallering them out making them deeper so that the wire would sit lower in it and you know I, I was afraid I was gonna mess it up and I really like this thing so I didn't want to do that but all in all uh, this thing is pretty badass you get a very very nice dense vape just tons and tons of vapor I've got five wraps of 24 gauge on both coils brings it down to about a 0.20 the flavor out of this thing is unreal and if any of you have um, had a chance to get your hands on a big dripper RDTA uh, and you like the flavor out of that you're gonna love this thing and it's gotta be because of this design at the top here the way it channels it up and just into your mouth it's just unbelievable flavor and um, I mean this thing is, is as good as any plume veil um, any other dripper that you like that's got a lot of vapor to it coming out of it is uh, you know you're, you're gonna love this thing so I highly highly recommend getting this um, building it is very very simple um, you do have the screw holes are, are offset so if you like dragon coils you're in business you just put the coal in there tighten it up and the coals are already at the angle you want otherwise you know the usual screwdriver you twist it you kind of squeeze it up, you get them tight in there, and you're good to go. This thing rocks. The top cap on this thing probably weighs as much as the rest of the dripper. It is uh, it's pretty hefty. Um, the engravings on it are very, very nice. Uh, they, took, they took great care in making this thing. Um, I mean, you can tell a lot of pride went into making it. It is made in the USA by a small group of people. Um, so, before YouTube kicks my video off for being too long, I'm going to end this. Um, nice device. Go out and buy one. Uh, $50. Vaporfection.com. And remember, YouTubers, vaping is a lifestyle. And life is good.